Hey guys, I'm Bill, Yo-Yo Tech, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at this little white box. Well, we're gonna take a look at what's in the box. This one's super exciting, because it's nine bucks on Amazon. That's right, nine dollars. Let's see if it's worth it. It's exciting, why? Because it is a smart Wi-Fi plug controllable switch thingy. So guys, thanks for coming back this week. If you have not already, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed? Just click the button down below, subscribe. I'm on Patreon. A Couple dollars a month is gonna get you kind of behind the scenes information, footage, things that led up to making these videos. Gonna have a little bit more of a dialogue with me and I'm going to add some prizes and draws. People are sending them me, sending me things to share with you guys well i'm going to use patreon as a place to actually share it so once we get a few more patreons on the site and make it fair i'm going to take a few of these things that i have and we'll actually do some draws and maybe you guys can win it so let's get back to it here i have bought a lot of switches in the past and typically they're pretty expensive i have them all around my house some of them are z-wave zigbee wi-fi um, the expensive ones work well but I've always been on a quest to find an affordable solution. I mean, these things aren't cheap. You start adding five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty 20 of these around your house, and at 50 bucks a pop, that's an expensive hobby. This has a lot of the features you'd expect from a more expensive one. Reading off the side here, voice control, energy monitoring, uh, stack it, which means you can fit two of these in a plug. They won't block each other. Uh, set a schedule on it and remote control. It also supports Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and if this and that. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try today. If it sticks up to all of the claims it's making for nine bucks, I'll be super impressed. One of the things you're gonna notice when you open it up is there's not much in here. It's a super simple box, which is great because that's one of the reasons they can offer to it for such a low price. So first thing out of the box, simple instructions. Put those over there. Second thing out of the box, the plug. So as you can see, it is a simple plug. It goes sideways into the outlet. So the idea being is it's a little bit longer, but that way it doesn't block both outlets when it's in there. So on the back, it's Smart Plug Mini. The model number for those who are interested is AP, no, sorry, AWP04L. Inputs 110 to 240, output 16 amps. And it has a scan code on the back here for the iOS and the Android app. On the front of the switch, we have a manual button to be able to turn it on and off. And we have what I believe is a little LED light here. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. Now, the name of the company or the brand on this is Vanza Vanzu. Vanza Vanza Vanzu. Vanza Vanzu. So, Guys, if this sticks up to it, nine bucks, let's give it a try. We're gonna go ahead and plug this plug in. There we go. As soon as we do that, we see the little LED comes on. We're gonna open up our phone. Now again, Android or iOS. And we are going to go ahead and open up the Play Store. You're gonna to wanna to look, you're gonna to wanna to look for Smart Life, Smart Living, which is the name of their app. Once you have it installed, you go ahead and open it. It's going to ask you to create an account. You're gonna use your email and a password, and that's it. It's about a 10, 15 second setup. Once that's done, it takes you directly to this screen where you can go about adding new devices. So let's go ahead and say, add device. All right, and the type we want is an electrical outlet. And it says here, power on the device and confirm the indicator light rapidly blinks. All right, well, it is not. So in the instruction manual, it suggests holding this down for six seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. That's all it took, and there it goes. We are now rapidly blinking, so I'm gonna click the confirm we're rapidly blinking. It wants my Wi-Fi password. I'm not gonna show you that, even though you just saw it. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password, confirm. It reminds us that the app only works on 2.4 gigahertz. Continue, and there we go, we've got a connecting. So it's suggesting we make sure our phone and device are as close to your router as possible, and it tells us it's searching for the device. 
Oh, and there it goes. 100% done, and it has successfully added it. So let's go ahead and name this. We can call this 9 dollar light and confirm and done so let's go ahead here and we will plug my light that I have in here and turn it on and look at that fast off very nice Okay, now at the bottom we have a bunch of icons. One is switch, which does the same as tapping on the icon. We have schedule. Within schedule we can do typical. We can choose the time and when we want it to run, which days of the week, and do we want it to turn on or off. So a nice easy way to set up some rules to use your device throughout the, the day. Maybe you want it to come on at night or day. And Let's go back, we have a timer. Now this is a really cool function. We can actually come in here and we can set a timer to turn the light off after a period of time. So maybe you just wanna have like a snooze or a sleep type thing where you can have it turn off. Very cool. And the final thing is statistics. Now this is really cool. This is something that is typically only found in much more expensive devices. Uh, this will actually show you the amount of electricity that the light or the device that you have plugged into it is using. So right now it's telling us we've got 129 milliamps, 15.6 watts, voltage is 121.3, and it also keeps track of your yearly and your daily. So you can see here in the month of May we've got zero. Today's, electronic, electro, uh, today's electrical quantity is at zero. And I guess from here we could go in and it'll actually graph what it's doing. So again, very cool. These are features that are very often only found on higher end devices. Uh, and that is about it for there. Now, the next thing we have, let's just look in here. We have kind of the settings for this device. We can come in here, modify the device name. Uh, has a network check app. Supported things are Amazon Alexa and Google Home. Device sharing, we can come in here and add it with another family member, which is really cool. Uh, device info, which gives you MAC address, IP address, things like that. If we want to create groups, we can do that in here. Feedback, and of course, check for, feed, check for firmware update and remove device. So let's go, actually, let's go back in there. Let's add this to Alexa. So, step one, add device. Step two, modify device name. Step three, set up Alexa or set up Echo. Step four, add the skill. So we're on step four. So it is suggesting that we open Alexa. Let's do that. Go to skills. We are going to search for smart life, which is the first one that comes up. We want to go ahead and do enable. And again, just like before, we're going to link this like you would with any other Amazon app. And I'm going to go ahead and put my email in here that I used to create my account, as well as the password. Now, this is the password for the Smart Life app. And we do linking, and it gives us back a warning just telling us that Alexa by Amazon will be able to receive the public profile. We authorize. And that's it. What you do next? Close this window to discover your devices. And now we want to discover devices. So once Alexa's done, we're going to give it a try. Alexa, turn off the $9 light. Okay. And there we go. Alexa, turn on the $9 light. Okay. So that's how simple it is to get it up and running in Alexa. So the other option we have is if this then that. So if you open up if this and that and you go under services, we search for smart life, first one comes up again. So very similar to how we just did it, connect. And we are going to do our username and password again. Again, the smart life username and password. And just like with Alexa, it's asking to authorize. 
So super simple here. Within if this and that, we can use this to uh, set up other devices. Now, this is a simple way that we could link OpenHab or Smart Things together. So OpenHab and Smart Things can talk to if this then that. If this then that can now talk to this light switch. So essentially with the two of them, you can control it from anywhere. So guys, I have to say for $9, $9 on Amazon, I'm super impressed with this. Um, energy monitoring worked good. The app is super slick. Um, that's unexpected. Typically when you buy these, the apps are terrible, but no, this one works really well. Integrated fast with Alexa, integrated with if this and that without any issues. Um, I'm gonna be buying some more of these. Guys, I recommend you do as well. Affiliate links are down below, so if you are interested in this or any other products from Amazon, Clicking those links down below is gonna help my channel out, gonna help me grow, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it gets you right to the products you're looking for fast. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, come on, click the button, subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video, comments if you have any. What are you still doing here? That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.